before we are told the equation of a curve is given by y is equals to x cubed minus 4x squared minus 3x. A, find the value of y when x is equals to minus 1. So to do that, uh, all what you need is to replace 1 minus 1 in place of y. So from our equation, uh, the function here, we have y is equals to minus 1 uh, raised to power 3, uh, then minus 4, uh, you multiply. The dot implies a multiplication. Uh, this is minus 1 uh, squared minus 3 multiplied by minus 1. So this will give you, uh, this is uh, minus 1 cubed will give you minus 1. Uh, this is uh, one, my minus 1 squared is 1. Uh, so times 4 becomes minus 4. Uh, then this is uh, minus 1 times minus 3 becomes positive 3. Uh, so minus 1 uh, minus 4 is minus 5. Minus 5 uh, plus uh, 3 you get it is minus 2. So that's how you are supposed to do that. Then uh, we have determined the stationary points of the curve. Uh, so part B, you say uh, this is B. Uh, stationary points, we know the gradient function should be equals to 0 at stationary point. So we need to uh, differentiate this to get the gradient function. So it means dy over dx is equals to, this will give you, 3x squared uh, minus 8x uh, minus 3. When you are differentiating, you multiply 3 times x to minus 1 from 3, then minus uh, uh, 2 times uh, 4, that is 8. We must subtract uh, 1 from 2, uh, like that. So, uh, so we say at a stationary point, point is uh, at stationary point uh, dy over dx is equals to 0. So this means that uh, 3x squared uh, minus 8x minus 3 is equals to 0 uh, which you can factorize. When you factorize this uh, you multiply 3 times minus 3, that becomes minus 9. Minus 9, you get two numbers such that when you multiply them, you get minus 9. When you add them, you get uh, minus 8. So these numbers, uh, we get, uh, we can rewrite our expression as uh, 3x uh, squared uh, minus 9x. Uh, plus x and then we have minus 3 is equals to 0 and when you factorize this you should get you get uh, 3x uh, this is uh, 3x plus 1 and uh, we have uh, x minus 3 is equals to 0 implying that x is equals to 3 or x is equals to minus 1 over 3 so those are the determine the stationary points of the curve. So these are the stationary points of our curve. Then we go to part C, uh, which you say uh, it is. Uh, so this is our C. Find the equation of uh, the stationary. Find the equation of the normal to the curve. At x is equals to 1, since we have already calculated the gradient, we find uh, dy over dx is equals to, we substitute the value of x uh, by 1, so we have 3 multiplied by 1, the dot implies multiplication, this is squared, minus 8 dot 1 multiplied by 1 minus 3, and this will give you uh, 3 minus 8 minus 3 so 3 minus 3 is 0 so uh, it means uh, dy over dx is equals to 
uh, minus 8. This is the gradient of the tangent. So what it means is that uh, the gradient of the normal, which is perpendicular to the normally when we have a curve, uh, if this is a tangent, then the normal is a line that makes an angle of or perpendicular to that tangent. And we know that uh, perpendicular lines, they are the product of their gradient is minus 1. So it means the gradient of the normal is equal to 1 over 8. So that when you multiply 1 over 8 times uh, minus 8, you get minus 1. So with that, we can be able to get the the gradient uh, that we get the gradient and then from there we need a point uh, since we are told that x is equals to 1 we find y y is equals to we substitute in our function this one so we will be able to get this is equals to uh, this is a uh, uh, 1 cubed and then we have minus uh, 4 multiplied by 1 squared minus uh, 3 multiplied by 1 which will give you uh, this is uh, 1 minus uh, 4 then we have minus 3 and this gives you this is a uh, minus 6 1 minus 4 is minus 3 minus 3 will give you minus 6 so the other point is uh, so one point that we have x is 1 and y is minus 6 so we now the with now the gradient uh now the gradient and uh, and one point we can get the equation so y minus uh, minus 6 divided by x minus 1 is equals to minus 1 over 8 you cross multiply you get y plus uh, 6 is equals to uh, minus 1 over 8 uh, and this will give you uh, minus uh, this is uh, this is this is a uh, minus one so that will give you we are multiplying one by the minus this is a uh, minus one and that will give you uh, minus one over eight take six to the other side you have y is equals to uh, here we have x uh, minus 1 over 8x and this uh, will be minus so it will be minus 6 and 1 over 8 uh, so when you write it in proper form uh, then you have our y is equals to minus 1 over 8x and this will be uh, minus uh, 49 over 8 so that's how you work out that question and you get yourself 10 marks so what we need to know here is that this is not the question that uh, will come in the exam and what are you expected to know uh, so you should know that at the stationary point the gradient is uh, always equals to zero dy dx is zero or the gradient function is zero that is very important uh, and then you should also also know what do you need to get the equation of a line that is you need the gradient you need the gradient there and you need another point this is use this you run in form 2 so that is very important and then of course the general manipulation of that so that's how you do that uh, and i hope you have understood